Okay, so what we're going to do here is look at compound interest today as opposed to simple interest because you almost never see simple interest out in the real world. We see a lot of compound interest and, and we'll talk about what that is really simple right here. So let's take a really quick example and say that you have a hundred dollars that you've deposited into the bank. Let's take a big house here. You'll see me do my my house drawings a lot. And the bank has says, hey, we're going to give you a 5% uh, return on that investment every year. And let's say you leave this into the bank, in the bank, in the account for one entire year. So the way we calculate this is just like we saw uh, before, we're going to calculate what the future value is. And in order to do that, we have to take our present value and multiply it by 1 plus whatever the interest is, in this case interest or R, IR, uh, up to the n. And so here it's a little simpler because we're going to take that n and just make it a 1. So here our future value, which we don't know what it is, we want to know how much money we have at the end of the year, is going to be the $100 times 1 plus 0 0.05. That 0 0.05 is this 5% here. Right. And we're going to raise it to 1 power, which is basically not raising it at all. And this is a simple calculation. So that's going to be a 100 times 1 plus 0 0.05. Um, I don't know why I did that. 1.05. Just add them together. And that's going to total up to, and that's going to total up to $105. So our future value at the end of the first year is $105. And this is where the compounding part of the compound interest comes in. Because now we want to see this is at the end of year one. And now we want to see what it looks like at the end of year two. So how do we do that? We take this $105 and we use that as our principal. 105 times 1 plus 0 0.05, just like we did before. And now we're calculating from the end of year one, or the beginning of year two, to the end of year two. And we're going to do it again. Equals, and we just multiply this out. This is 105, 1 plus 0 0.05. And then we do it again, and we are going to get a calculation of calculator. Well, 105 times 1.05 is equal to $110.25. In essence, what has happened here is that at time zero, you have deposited $100. At the end of the first year, that 100 has turned into 105. In the second year, we're not calculating interest based off of this 100. We're calculating interest based on the fact that you have $105. So it's not a simple 105 again. You're not getting an additional $5. That's going to grow. And here it's growing by an additional 25 cents. So this grows into 525. As you keep growing, this balance, this balance becomes what we refer to as the principle. The principle. And the principle is nothing more than the amount on which the interest is being calculated over time. And that's a difference between simple interest and compound interest. In the case of simple interest, the principle is always the $100. But in compound interest, like every other account that you that that, that you have, uh, that principle is growing over time if you leave it alone.